There was the weight that pulled me down. Oh, Cromwell, the king has gone beyond me. All my glories in that one woman I have lost forever. No son shall ever usher forth men honors or gild again the noble troops that waited upon my smile. Go, get thee from me, Cromwell. I am a poor, fallen man, unworthy now to be thy lord and master. Seek the king. That son, I pray, may never set. I have told him what and how true thou art. He will advance thee. Some little memory of me will stir him. I know his noble nature, not to let thy hopeful service perish too. Good Cromwell, neglect him not. Make use now and provide for thine own future safety. Cromwell, I did not think to shed a tear in all my miseries. But thou hast forced me out of thy honest truth to play the woman. Let's dry our eyes, and thus far hear me, Cromwell. And when I am forgotten as I shall be, and sleep in dull, cold marble, where no mention of me more must be heard of, say I taught thee. Say, Wolsey, that once trod the ways of glory and sounded all the depths and shoals of honor, found thee a way out of his wreck to rise in, a sure and safe one, though thy master missed it. Mark but me fall. And that, that ruined me. Cromwell, I charge thee, fling away ambition. By that sin tell the angels, how can man then, the image of his maker, hope to win by it? Love thyself last. Cherish those hearts that hate thee. Corruption wins not more than honesty. Still in thy right hand carry gentle peace to silence envious tongues. Be just and fear not. Let all the ends thou aimst at be thy countries, thy gods and truth. Then if thou falst, O Cromwell, Thou false, the blessed martyr, O oh, Cromwell, Cromwell, had I but served my God with half the zeal I served my king, he would not in mine age have left me naked to mine enemies. Farewell, the hopes of court.